Hey, it's uh, Defender again, back with my second video today. Uh, today's topic is going to be about AIT, or Advanced Individual Training. Uh, that's the second part of your, I guess, your military career, so especially for the, you know, Army. This first is basic training, which that was my first video, and then you go to AIT, or if um, you're infantry, you go to OSIT, which is basically just more advanced, uh, more tactical skills you learn about being an infantryman. So, uh, but for those who aren't infantry and you're support MOS, then you'll most likely or go to uh, AIT. Um. There, there are a few classifications. You have, you know, secret and top secret, or some won't even have a a, a clearance, so to speak. Mine is secret, 25 Quebec or 25 Q, uh, multi-channel transmission operator maintainer, basically communication. And uh, there's a few that I'll, you you know be lucky enough to get top secret. Top secret. It's a lot of shit you gotta sign. They gotta do background checks. It's ridiculous. But um, yeah, my secret and uh, AIT. Depending on what you have, it'll be. It could any range from anywhere from. I think the shortest might be like five six weeks. All the way up till I mean a uh, year, two years. It, it just really depends. Obviously, the more complex and the more involved you are in your job, obviously it's going to take a lot more training. So therefore, you have to stay in AIT a little bit more, longer than anybody else. So that's just that's just uh, that's how it goes. So you definitely want to be careful about picking your job because some people can't even you know can't handle that you know they're ready to get out and go to the regular army and yet you know you got you pick the MOS with your training you know four months you just got to tough it out and just train 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 and then very and then depending on your location yeah that's my dog that's my dog depending on what and where your MOS training will be uh, that that also varies where you'll be going for your training. Like for instance, mine was Fort Gordon, down in Georgia. Uh, it was 14 weeks. It's advertised as 18 weeks, but uh, they cut a few things out, and it, it went down to 14 weeks. So I mean, it wasn't bad. It was uh, AIT. A AIT is much much better. And basic training it's a little bit more you know relaxed maybe a, I should say a lot more relaxed you make more friends there you know uh, you gain valuable experience you get to uh, learn your job hands-on is I mean it's great I mean you're getting paid to do it that's simple as pink can be um, signal core is down in Fort Gordon signal center of excellence Signal core cool. uh, I know Fort Huachuca. Um, I think that's for aviation, the electronics. I'm not too sure. A few of my friends from Basic Training went there. They liked it. I mean, I, I mean, I went on leave and after AIT, and he was still on doing his training at Fort Huachuca. I mean, that that was crazy. Uh, and he was uh, something to do with aviation. So uh, that was pretty cool. I was kind of getting that. I was actually trying to get to be a Black Hawk mechanic. But they didn't have the opening at the time. So I went ahead with my second choice. Which was something to do with uh, electronics, computers, radios. And I went ahead and picked that. Worked out to be pretty good. I mean the experience you'll get in AIT also can vary depending on the people. Where you go. Uh, I say if you went to Fort Gordon, you uh, you definitely, you definitely 
made a few friends, a few enemies, um, and definitely had a lot of memories, a lot of memories. It kind of felt like home. It really did. I kind of miss Fort Gordon, and I kind of wish I got stationed there where my good buddies. He actually, that was his first duty station. So he went from Fort Gordon to Fort Gordon for his first duty station. Lucky bastard. I kind of wanted to be Stay, stay there, Georgia, you know, beautiful weather, you know, nice, uh, nice scenery down there, the culture, that's for sure, that's for sure, we're going to the right parts, and also, you know, Georgia being the crime state that it is, but I mean, obviously the good parts are around the base. Um, AIT can be stressful at times because you think, oh, well, you know, I got this test coming up or, you know, we got to do this today. I don't know if I'm going to be really good at it. I mean, you know, if you just take your time and just pay attention and maybe even ask the instructors for help, I don't think you don't understand because they'll get mad at you for not for knowing that you don't know something or you have a question about and you're just sitting there like a dummy and you're just like, well, I'll just keep my mouth shut and just hopefully I can pick it up later rather than, you know, raising your hand and asking and going over it because they hate to train somebody up and think they're doing a good job and yet, you know, they're not because they fail to ask a question or, you know, just be inquisitive on something that they don't know what's going on. I had a few people like that, they barely passed. I kind of wish they didn't. I know, sad but true. I'm saying it about one of my fellow people, but you know, it's just they didn't they didn't pay attention. It wasn't all right there, you know. Um, spend your time wisely. That's for sure in AIT. I mean, obviously most I think most AITs, you're, you're allowed your phone and stuff. I definitely caught up with some family since I didn't get to talk to them all that much in basic training, so I was always on the phone, always texting. Uh, when you're training, uh, some pay places will be lenient and let you have your cell phone. You know, a few people I even saw on Facebook, you know, taking pictures of what they were doing. I was like, you lucky bastard. But with me and my secret clearance, I couldn't just take a picture of what I was doing and post it on Facebook. And let the whole world see. I mean, come on. Who would do that? Um, so, I mean, it's a good experience. You go there, keep an open mind, ask questions, do what you got to do, get out there, you know. Uh, my advice for somebody would be, if you want to choose a job, make sure you choose a job that you can take outside of the army instead of you know the only thing you know is army so then you're gonna be stuck in the army because that's the only thing you know how to do so you know get a trait that you know you can exercise and work on outside of the army like with me I'm communications there's always going to be communications around for hundreds and hundreds of years or however long the earth will remain in contact with you know people remain in contact with other people it's simple as that you know cell phones are getting updated every fucking week it seems like nowadays you know you just fucking droids and androids and ios and you know it's just i mean the company i want to work for is cisco they seem to be on top of that networking type deal and i i definitely want to apply there and i want to get trained on their on their stuff on their manuals so that's what I'll be doing pretty soon here. And as you see, I'm an E2, or US Army, cool. But uh, that's about it for AIT. Uh, like you say, just go with your mind open, be ready to learn, it'll go by quick, make some new friends. Who knows, you might see them again. Um, but that's all for this video, Defendor out. Um, that's it. Uh, like, post a comment, ask questions, subscribe, rate, do all that. And until next time, whore.